Hi, welcome back to Brunette Wig Place. I'm Lisa. I am so glad that you are here today. Before I get started, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button below and then you will get a notification letting you know every time I post a new video. So today I am doing sort of a really quick re-review of a wig and showing you a brand new shade. And then I'm going to do some shade comparisons with some other Raquel Welch shades. So I am wearing Raquel Welch's current events. And as you know, I have reviewed her in the past in the Iced Cafe Latte, which is RL924SS. And this particular shade is the Shaded Iced Cappuccino, which is RL1022SS. So they are, Shades that are close to each other, they're both in their iced shade uh, category, so they are a little more muted, a little more cool toned. And just looking at this shade, my description of this shade personally is it just looks like a cool toned, dirty blonde. You know, it's got that 10 running through it, the 10 is the base, and then it's got the blonde highlights. So I'll go over the color with more detail in a minute, but just quick review of current events. I will link my current events review down below so that you all can go back and reference that because I don't want to cover everything. I will post her measurements here real quick, just, you know, just to give a quick overview for you all, give you a minute to read that. And then I'll just cover a cap construction super quick, but I'm not going to do a full re-review because I really want to talk about the color. So, as far as her cap construction, she is a lace front. She is a left mono part. You know, great ear tab. She's average size. She's heat friendly. So great ear tabs, you know. Um, the only thing I think that this style is missing is an extended nape. I don't really know why they didn't extend the nape, but I mean, the wig still fits great and everything, but I don't know. I just don't know why it doesn't have an extended name. Maybe so that they could keep the price point down a little bit because she does have a really nice price point for such a beautiful bob. So what I want to focus on is this color. So this, like I said, is the Shaded Iced Cappuccino. And I just recently, not too long ago, reviewed the just regular Shaded Cappuccino. And I was really surprised at the differences in the shades. So I'm going to show them, you know, side by side in just a few minutes. But I just want to go over strictly right now just the RL 1022 SS Shaded Iced Cappuccino. So here is the color. Really, really pretty. Like I said, I just, it just screams dirty blonde to me, you know, a darker blonde. So I really don't like that term dirty. That's just, I don't know who made that up, but you know, it just is referring to it being a darker blonde. really pretty. So, and then you can see it's got that, it's a shadow shade, so it's got that rooted appearance, which is nice. And as I pull the hair up, you know, you can see the darker shade. One thing I do like about this shade is compared to the shaded cappuccino is when I, they do have the lighter hairs towards the lace front, but when I pull it back, it doesn't look so light and unnatural. I, I'm not crazy about that really white, you know, light shade that they put right at the hairline. Otherwise, though, I love the Shady Cappuccino. This one just looks more natural to me because you can also see a lot of that 10 base under there. So description-wise of this color, they describe it as a natural light brown with ash blonde highlights and medium brown rooting, which is simple and specific, so. Really, really pretty. I'll give a full turn just so you can see current events again. Here's my left, the back. Such a pretty classic style. Just love her. And back to the front. So really, really pretty. Okay, I am going to grab my other wigs and we will start comparing the shades. Okay, so let's look at the shaded iced cappuccino next to the shaded cappuccino. So here's the shaded cappuccino on my simmer wig on the wig head. Make sure those are showing up. <laughs> I 
do that slide? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. And then back to the front. So major differences that I see between the two are this white blonde. This blonde actually looks cooler going through the shaded cappuccino than, <laughs> than this one. They're just, I was surprised they're just really different shades. They're two different shades. Um, you know, close in that they have the 22 going through them, but the 22 looks so much more muted in this shade. So this one they describe as having a dark brown root. This one they describe as having a medium brown root because it's, but this one is a 10. So I would think this one would have a darker brown root. Like I said, I'm just showing these to y'all, kind of working it out in my head here as I look at them, but. So you can see that, you know, blonde that goes all through it. Now I did mention that, um, let me get my little clip here. Hold on just one second. I can't hold her and show you the lace front. I'm, I only have two arms. Okay, so this was what I was talking about with the you know, when I pull this one back on the lace front, I like that appearance better. This one just has more of that blonde that shows. And that blonde is just so much brighter in the shaded cappuccino. See what I'm talking about? I don't mind it. I, I actually love that blonde. I think I like this blonde better up against my skin tone, but it's just, I, I, like I said, I was just surprised at the differences between the two, so. So this one is the RL1222SS, light golden brown with cool blonde highlights all over and dark brown roots. And again, um, I'll link my Simmer video down below so you can go back and watch the review of just Simmer. but I just thought it was interesting, the difference in the shades. So let me pop off the iced cappuccino and I will put on the regular shaded cappuccino. So you see what I'm saying? This color definitely works better with my skin tone, have to say. Put this on my wig head here. I'm trying not to do too much to this um, current events wig, this one in the shaded ice cappuccino, because I don't think I'm going to keep it. I think I will be reselling her. So as you can see, this one looks more like a blonde. And this one almost, I mean, on the wig head, almost looks more like a brunette. It's interesting. Okay, let's take them outside and we will look at these shades outside in the natural light. Okay, I am fighting some <laughs> major wind here outside, so we'll see how this goes. It is really wanting to blow in my face. So here is the shaded cappuccino, shaded ice cappuccino is on my head. The shaded cappuccino. You can see the medium brown rooting. There's the lace front. Okay, and I will put on the shade, the regular shade. usually take wigs on and off outside. This is interesting. I have to have sunglasses or else I just can't see. Okay. So here is the shaded cappuccino then.
decided to show you another comparison, just with another shade, because I do have my current events in the RL 924SS, which is the Iced Cafe Latte. And so this is the Iced Shady Cappuccino. I thought I would try to show them to you all up here. And then we'll look at them inside together too. So these are both in that Iced Shade range. I'm just trying to make sure that we're about the same level here. This one definitely, as you can see, looks like more of a blonde, whereas this one looks like more of a highlighted brunette. Hope that's coming through on camera. And then if we wanna compare the Shady Cappuccino, to the iced cafe latte, just perhaps you're thinking about a few different shades. So there's the comparison of show you a comparison of the shaded iced cafe latte which is now on the wig head and I am wearing the shaded iced cappuccino back on my head I'm really trying to throw y'all for a loop in this video but I'm just trying to compare them now and in my head I'm trying to think of all the things that I want to tell you about them just so you can make an informed choice when you're choosing colors so anyway so shaded iced cappuccino is on my head RL 1022 SS this is RL 924 SS. So this is the original current events wig that I reviewed. And I like I said, I will link that review below. So let's look at these two shades inside. They're in some lighting, they look like almost the same shade, but you can see that this one is just, it's just blonder. That's all there is to it. This one has a lot of blonde going through it, but it looks more like a highlighted brown. Whereas this one to me looks more like a rooted blonde. Okay, so just in closing, what are my opinions of these different shades? So. I think that all three shades are good transition shades if you're wearing brunettes and you want to start dipping your toe in the blonde pond, you know, and just trying some blondes that still have some brunette rooting and some brunette bases to them. I think all three are great. It really depends on your skin tone. If you prefer a cool tone, I think you could get away, excuse me, let me grab iced cappuccino down, or shady cappuccino down here. I think you could get away with the iced cappuccino or the shaded cappuccino. I mean, I, I think that my coloring must be pretty neutral because I'm able to wear, it seems like I can get away with some cools and some warms and I can get away with those in the middle colors. So, you know, just speaking to my skin tone, but you may find that you can do the same thing. You can adjust your makeup. Now I made sure with this color that I was wearing a top that had some bright colors in it because I feel like the shade looks better and this shade does not look good on me with no makeup. <laughs> I 
when I first got the wig. I put it on with no makeup and I was like, oh no, that's not one you're gonna wear out with no makeup. So, so anyway, so as far as my preference for colors, I would say I have to prefer, I prefer the shaded, the regular shaded cappuccino for me personally. I just think that the, uh, these bright highlights around the face light my face up. Like I said, my only kind of qualm with them is I, I don't think it looks that realistic when I pull it off the face, but I usually don't wear this one clipped back. I like the little side swoop over the forehead that the style has. So it, that's not really that big of a deal to me, but I just, I, I don't know. These colors just work better for me and brighten up my face more, whereas this one is more muted and I just don't love it, you know, with my skin tone as much. So as far as the Iced Cafe Latte, I have mixed feelings about this color. Sometimes I put this wig on and I think it looks fabulous. And then I went to put it on the other day and I just, I just felt washed out and like it was not a good color for me. So I'm kind of hot and cold on the RL 924 SS. So I think it's a beautiful color. I just think I'm not 100% sure that it works, you know, perfectly for me. I get my shade description. So this one is ashy medium brown base with cool blonde highlights and medium brown rooting. So maybe this one goes a little too cool for me or something. I don't know. I think it's a beautiful color, but it's just funny. I'm just hot and cold. I, I loved it when I first got it. And then I saw a, a picture, I wore it to a restaurant and I saw a picture <laughs> myself and I was like, that's not a good color for me at all. And right now looking in the camera, I am loving this color. So I think this color works for me with makeup. You know, that's the thing with wigs and these different colors is you sometimes have to just play around and you have to figure out, okay, this is a shade that I can wear. I can pretty much wear any brunette I've discovered without makeup and I can wear auburns without makeup. Um, that to me is the ultimate test. But some of these blondes, because, you know, I have to be careful with blondes, some of them I feel like really wash me out if I have no makeup. And this one, like I said, in particular, is one that definitely does that. So, so anyway, I think they're all great shades. I just thought that somebody might ask my preference. So I have to say my preference is the shaded, the regular shaded cappuccino that is not in these iced shades. So, but they're all beautiful colors. And I wanted to make this video just to show them all to you, to help you, like I said earlier, help you make your choices, you know, when you're choosing different shades. So I hope that you, okay. So I just wanted to be able to show you all these different color, com you know, colors and shades, and you can make your decision which one you think would be best for you. These were all purchased with my own funds from different retailers. So I thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.